What's going on everybody? I'm really excited to share with you guys some scuba diving videos from some shipwrecks on the south shore of Long Island. This is going to be the first video of three videos of three different shipwrecks on the south shore of Long Island. I started scuba diving because I was really curious about what I was fishing over when I was anchored up over some structure fishing for sea bass, blackfish, and drifting over them for fluke. So I decided to sc start scuba diving on the south shore and it's been awesome. So here I'm going to share with you guys some footage, I'm going to narrate some stuff, show you some really cool stuff that we see on the bottom, lobsters, crabs, fish, structure. I hope you guys enjoy it. In this dive, as soon as we dropped to the bottom, we saw two nice fluke. And you could see how amazing the camera was. The only thing you could really see is the white face. If you're not looking for them, it's gonna be hard to find them. I picked this lobster. Within a couple minutes, I was down there, but he was too small. I love the way they jump and swim backwards like that. And look at him looking for his hole right after you put him back down. Now while lobstering, I'm looking in every hole, and if a hole isn't inhibited by a lobster, something else is going to take residence. We had a great day of viz, at least 25 feet, and here you could see some profile on the wreck. And all those white things there are corals, and they're super sharp, so it's important to wear gloves. There's a little sea bass passing through. And this is the main profile of the wreck. Those are the ship's ribs. And I'm looking in each of those holes for lobsters. Here you can see the wooden wreck, a silver eel, and then a Jonah crab. So this is what I came down here for. I adjust my light and my camera so you guys can get a better look at him. And funny enough, he actually came out to check out what was going on. So here I try to get the camera in there one more time. You got a view at him before dropping the camera and it floated up and then I stuck my arm in there and grabbed him. I was up to my shoulder in that hole and finally got my hand around his body. Yanked him out but it was a female with eggs so I released it. Here's another Jonah crab or white crab. These crabs are actually native to the ocean wrecks. When I saw this guy I was jacked up. Look at the size of that fish. And look how amazing the camo is. The only thing you could see on these fish, if you're not looking for them, is the mouth. And look at the corals on the ship compared to the white spots on the fluke. It's unreal. And what I noticed when I got closer on this guy was he had a giant crab in his stomach. I assume it to be a crab. Could have been a porgy or another fish, but... Just watching him take off was amazing. I followed him a decent way and then went back to the wreck because I didn't want to lose my buddy, but you could see some sea robins scatter there. But this was just the highlight of the trip for me. And my buddies up on the boat were pissed off that I didn't call my other buddy over to spear it, but that fish does not deserve to die like that. I included this still photo here to point out those two holes. I would have loved to look in there at my light. Who knows, there could have been an 8 pound lobster in there, or there could have been nothing. But it's interesting to point out the things that you see when you watch the footage that you didn't notice when you were diving. One thing I definitely did notice was the big lump in this fluke stomach. It looks like he just had a nice meal and he was laying right next to that rib, probably waiting for another one to swim by. I'm estimating the size of this fish to be around 9 to 10 and a half pounds and two reasons I say that is just the size of the fish and also in the fish's face they just look different when they're that big and one thing that really sets them apart from the smaller fish is that their eyes are spread further apart and that may seem obvious to say but they just have this look about them when they're big. 
Another thing that I was debating and could use your guys' help on was what was in the fish's stomach. I want to say a crab because I've seen a bunch of those big white crabs down there and the profile of it looked to be similar, but those crabs are usually way buried inside the structure and I don't know if a fluke would be able to get in there and extract the crab. I mean, it's likely that they are swimming around or walking around at times, so he would be able to get them, but makes a porgy more realistic or a small sea bass or something like that. But let me know what you guys think was in his stomach and also let me know what you guys think about the weight of this fish. I really enjoyed scuba diving and I really enjoyed making this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and look out for another two rec videos the next two Fridays. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to reach out, leave me a message. I look forward to meeting some new divers and thanks for watching.